Okay, so this is a tutorial to help you make a launch CD for Fedora 17. Um, what we're going to do is use this boot, this boot disk to help install Fedora onto your USB drive, which I will later follow up with another movie. Uh, for now, I'll just show you how to not only download Fedora 17, which is the simple part, and then write it onto the disk. So what you do is just go straight to the internet. Type in Fedora 17. Okay. So the first one that comes up is Fedora homepage. So you start with that one there. Okay, so you're welcomed here with our main page. And um, what you want to do is go to the downloads here. Um, pretty simple. Obviously, you want to download 17. Next, um, you'll be presented with this, Fedora 17 Desktop Edition. Now here it has um, your standard 64-bit video, 64-bit um, download for Fedora 17, hence here, 64-bit, depending on your computer type. So if you've got a 32-bit laptop or desktop, then you'll need to download the appropriate file. So if you've got a 64-bit, click the download button. If you have got a 32-bit, then go to more downloads. Okay, so here you're presented with even more um, download files. So you've got Fedora, Desktop Edition, and so on and so forth. What we want is the top one. So here they are, the original 30, your original 64-bit button, and 32 here. So, obviously, depending on what your computer type is. If you're not sure what bit your computer is, what you need to do is, a um, simple way is just to go to my computer, whatever that is. Okay, so this is my computer. What I'm doing now is I'll right click anywhere in, a, in an empty space, properties, and then here it will tell you what bit your computer is. So my bit is my computer system type is a 64 bit, as it says there. Okay, so once you've found that out, you can just go straight to the website and then click download now. Okay, so where does this lead you to? Well, firstly the box will open up asking you if you want to open with or save. Obviously we want to save the file. Okay, so I click OK. Um, this is obviously downloading now. Now once you have downloaded this, I've already downloaded this file, so I'll stop that. Um, and I'll go to my downloads because that's where it is. Find it in your downloads here. And there it is there. Um, Fedora 17. Oh that's the one I that's the one that I, I stopped. So this one is the complete version. Um, you'll notice that it's a dot ISO. So this is important. And as you can see the file type is a disk image file. So from here, you can't, this isn't the software, this is just the image file at the moment. So what we need to do with this is to create an image file onto the disk we have. Make sure the disk is just your standard 700 megabyte um, CD disk that we'll use. Now, you can't just copy and paste this image file onto um, your disk. What you need to do is, um, but on this laptop, I can right click and then send to create image. And I'll show you that on here. Okay. So again, I'll, just, I'll start again, show you how it's done. Right click. Again, this is for my laptop, it might be different for different systems. Um, and we want to send to create. Create an image. 
Now you can use any sort of image burn software, um, which I'm sure will be readily available on the internet, so you can just search that on the internet. But for the moment, um, I have this already pre-installed, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I'll pop my desk in. Okay, because I've already selected the file, you'll see that um, in this section, So it zooms in properly. There we go. You can see I've got it's from my downloads Fedora 17 64 bit live desktop dot ISO. So this is the file, and now it's read the CD. I can now click the start burning. So that's what I'm going to do. Would you like to create an image file? Yes. Okay. So it's important that it writes the dot ISO file correctly. And you don't want to just create or copy and paste the file itself. That is incorrect. So once it's finished creating the image file, um, I'll continue with the next tutorial, which you can have a look at shortly.